likely to remain one of the highest at-risk groups for drug and alcohol abuse. I wanted to do something that was a little bit out of the box, that was a little bit different, uh, that could reach our student athletes with a different message than what they've been hearing. They've never really had the knowledge of what it does to your athletic performance. And I really felt that the Life of an Athlete program could give them that knowledge. We're actually the first university in the state of Oklahoma to implement Life of an Athlete. It was such a smooth process, it was easy to implement. They see that these professional athletes, what they did to get there, sometimes we just assume everyone drinks and does drugs and uh, it's not always that way. So I think they need to see those role models. Drug and alcohol abuse could have affected my life, but I chose to go another route. You put the facts out there and you show us pictures or you hear other athletes talk about how they made a, a pact to do this, to do that. We came up with the idea that uh, we wanted to sign a pledge to not drink, to not smoke, do any of those things that might uh, hinder our chances on the field. And then look how successful they were, then that really hits them. They really go back and they think about it a little bit more, like, well, okay, I knew that it really wasn't going to help me if I chose to go out the night before, but look, professional athletes tell me, hey, I can't do this. But you have to step up and choose to be different. What do you want to do? What do you want to be? And, uh, Through the Life of an Athlete program, I really learned a lot, especially the parts where it talked about how long alcohol can stay in your system, the major effects it really has on your body. Now that we've had Life of an Athlete at our school, it's really opened my eyes to the facts, the actual damage it does to your brain, not just the what, what I see. It made a big impact on me, for sure, and my team, because we realized just a night of fun can cause big problems and it could possibly end your goal. It shows how much your performance declines, uh, how long alcohol and drugs stay in your system. A muscle study that was done by the American Athletic Institute showed that you could lose up to 14 days of training effect every time you get and drunk. I think the athletes did not know that. They did not know that one night of drinking would linger in their bodies for weeks. We participated in the Life of an Athlete uh, program as a team. Our coach came to us and told us, you know, we are going to take this serious and as a team we should really all pledge not to do drugs or drink alcohol during season and it really helped. It wasn't directed as a, you've got to do this presentation, it was more, here are the facts, you have to make the decision. And I think this generation of student athletes that's the only message they're really going to respond to. You can't just go into a room and lecture to people and say this is why alcohol and drugs are bad, you shouldn't do them. You have to get creative with programs like Life of an Athlete. Both our athletes and our non-athletes were educated in a completely unique and different way about the harmful effects of alcohol and drugs. We've won more championships this past year than we've had ever in our history. We've had more all-conference, all-academic recipients, even some All-Americans. That cannot happen without people making good lifestyle choices.